Hello, hello, welcome. It is Thursday and we have a very exciting, exciting day ahead of us. I'm Amber, I'll be taking your questions, but let's get straight to it with the wonderful Gabriela Hernandez, hooray. Hello, hello, welcome. Today is such a special day because I have a couple of new things to show you. So I'm very excited to tell you all about our new cold cream and vanishing creams. Yay, so today, just today, the first wave of the Bethany skincare essentials have launched. You may have seen it on Instagram or Facebook, but that's what we'll be talking about. The first two products are the Vanishing Cream and the Cold Cream. And these are, what's so cool about them is they are based on these classic products that have worked, you know, for centuries, some of them, which Gabrielle will talk about, but they also have yes. modern formulas. So it's all new ingredients, effective ingredients. So it's really the best of both worlds. And it's so exciting to get to finally share about it. So Gabriella, yes, with the cold cream, we wanted to talk a little bit about that first. And also, if any of you guys have questions, yes. please just put them in the comments and I will answer them or give them to Gabriella for her to talk more about. And please ask whatever, whatever you like. Yes, Gabriella, let's get started. Yes. I'm so excited. Sure. Well, um, well, these two creams are kind of kind of uh, that's why i started with these two because they're kind of sister creams i guess i would call them because cold cream really was designed to take off makeup and vanishing cream is really to keep makeup on really so so they kind of do uh, opposite things uh so they kind of work uh in in a in a group uh you know one yeah. one takes it off and one puts it on um, so, uh, cool cream is, is, uh, is, is one of the oldest creams uh, there was, I mean, even the Romans had, had a version of, uh, of what, what a cold cream is in, 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 in effect. Uh, and wow. the reason that it was, it's been called uh, cold cream is because, uh, initially when it was manufactured, it had, uh, oils in it, uh, usually almond oil. Uh, or some kind of oil that would turn rancid actually rather quickly in the cream. So in order to keep it from spoiling, keep, people would keep it uh, in cold, you know, in ice or in a cold uh, storage. So then when they put it on their face, obviously the cream was cold. So <laughs> it kind of got the name cold cream. Also, it does have water. It's an emulsion of oils and water. So when you apply the cream, you feel kind of a cooling effect because the water evaporates and it leaves behind the the oils to remove your your makeup. So you do get a kind of a cooling effect when you first put it on. So that's another reason which maybe it got the the um, the moniker of cold cream. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there's nothing actually cold about it. It's just yeah. kind of how it felt, I guess. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you. A bit about our cold cream. Uh, ours is is a little bit more advanced than the the formula that was around in the 1800s because uh, this product was introduced as far as like manufactured in the uh, 1870s and it was made by what today is is Pons. Uh, so the Cheeseboro Company at that time manufactured this product and it was it was a product made with Vaseline. So it was called Vaseline cold cream. Uh, at that time, uh, because they figured out how to make Vaseline from petroleum and uh, mm -hmm. already manufactured Vaseline as a as a, a skin protectant cream. So they made a version of it uh, that it was called cold cream, uh, but Vaseline cold cream, because the base of it, mm -hmm. instead of being the vegetable uh, or, you know, almond oils uh, was uh, mineral oils and and uh, Vaseline, uh, so that's why it was. Uh, it actually made the product um, a lot uh, cheaper to produce, and right. also it lasted a lot longer because obviously these oils don't go rancid. So so this this made the cream incredibly stable and uh, made it uh, easy for that cream to be sold all over the place because it could be mm -hmm. easily transported and it didn't spoil. So uh, that's maybe one of the reasons cold cream became so widespread and you know so so, so many uses for it. Um, but initially, it was sold as a kind of a makeup remover. 
so people would use it to take off makeup or to clean the skin because if you remember um you know uh, early early on in 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 cities there was a lot of grime and soot and and you know yeah. from horses and dirt and all kinds of things so so your face would get a lot of dirt just from being outside so uh one of the ways they sold the cold cream was a way to remove all these impurities and dirt so even if you didn't wear makeup the cold cream would remove all of these um particles that uh that were stuck to your skin from just being outside in the city so uh so it it was very 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 popular because women used it for that purpose uh so usually you would put it on um and then uh towel it off so it would wipe off uh your you know your your face from impurities and things and, and dirt but it would also leave a film of oil so it would kind of if you had drier skin it would act kind of as a moisturizer as well so uh, so that's why it became such a popular product uh, now uh, our version of it uh, one of the drawbacks of cold cream is that it's very greasy uh, usually yeah. because that's the whole point of it is to have a lot of oils in it that would remove uh, whatever's on your face, but it does tend to leave kind of a kind of a greasiness to it and also uh, a film that could cause yeah. some breakouts as well um, because of the mineral oils. Um, so the version that I chose to make is a little bit different because it doesn't have those ingredients. So the way that it works is it has um, coconut oil to help remove all your makeup, but it actually, uh, when water touches it, it turns into a milk and that milk uh, comes right off your face. So there is no greasy residue for this cream. So you won't feel, your, your skin will feel moisturized, but it, it won't have this tacky kind of uh, oily feel to it. So, so I think it's, it's um, I feel that it's much improved from the original one because the original one is great. But it does it does kind of leave that that film behind, which this one does not. Um, so I can show you how it works if you like. We'll go to the table and I can actually unbox some of these and and show you how this works. <laughs> Yay! And for everybody Yay. asking, what's the difference between cold cream and vanishing cream and stuff? We'll be getting into yes. all of that. We'll talk more about some of the other yes. ingredients in it, and also you know, yes. so these are completely mineral oil free. Uh, all of the creams, yes. these two creams in particular. Um, and because the coconut oil yes. is used more for cleansing, but the rest of the ingredients help wash it away, it doesn't stay on your face mm -hmm. to clog pores and things like that. But yes, I'd love to see yes. it in action. I'm very excited. Yes, yes. So so we have both of them here. And like I said, mm -hmm. cold cream is really kind of a removing cream, where vanishing is actually to help the makeup stay on. So it's kind of like a primer basically. Yeah. Uh, so, so vanishing cream, think of it as a primer and cold cream is really a cleanser. Um, so, mm -hmm. uh, so the, some of the ingredients in the cold cream are uh, coconut oil, uh, sunflower seed oil. Uh, it's got jojoba oil. So it has a lot of different uh, oils to help cleanse the skin, but it also has chamomile and calendula that are antibacterial and it have helped uh, um, with the skin and irritation on the skin. So at least your, your face very smooth and uh, clean without stripping uh, your natural oils. So, uh, yeah. so one thing to mention too, the, these creams, all of them are fragrance free. So there are no fragrances in the creams. Um, and the reason I did this is I don't, I don't know if you remember, but when I was developing these, I did a survey uh, on on my Instagram and I asked you guys, what would you like to do? Would you prefer fragrance and would you, or would you prefer um, uh, non-fragrance? And uh, having tried all kinds of fragrances on these creams, uh, I, I went with the fragrance free because you asked for it. Uh, and mm -hmm. also because it doesn't have any allergens. So uh, right. one of the most common ways that creams actually give you a reaction when you use them or when you put them on are the fragrance 
elements in the cream. So it's either a fragrance or some ingredient that actually has natural fragrance in it, uh, like an essential oil, which is still a fragrance really, because molecule wise, it still acts just as a regular fragrance would, even though right. it comes from a natural source, it is uh, still could have the same uh, molecules in it uh, because sure. it is fragrant. Um, so, so we decided not to use any of those in these creams to avoid any of those uh, things. And not that you really need it on something that you wash off your face anyways, because um, it's not gonna make any difference if it is fragrant. So most of these creams uh, will smell like really nothing at all or, or have some uh, slight scent of, of the, the uh, ingredients that are in it, but not really anything noticeable. Uh, yeah, it's so, scent. so slight. And it was fun at the offices. We did get to try a bunch of scents as we were going through these yes. just to see. And yeah, fragrance free is yes. just, it's better for everybody. And, and it's uh, such a nice option for sure. Yeah. So, um, so one of the things, uh, the cold cream, uh, I wanted to mention is the size of these jars. So all of these jars are, um, 100 ml over 100 ml so they they mm -hmm. have three and a half ounces of product so all of the jars have three and a half ounces of product where most mm -hmm. of the time when you purchase creams they come in a in a little jar like this which is like 15 and a half an ounce or yeah. uh, slightly larger jars uh like like this this size where um they are about uh an ounce over an ounce or so uh, yeah. but nothing nothing really this size in in a lot of uh, uh, nicer cream products usually do not come this size because uh, you know of, of pricing per ounce of the product but i wanted to make sure that you had enough product on, on these so all of these jars actually have three and a half ounces every cream that you purchase is three and a half ounces um uh and the jar itself uh when you open it let's go up and get a open full this. unboxing uh, here which i love unboxing here you will have, um, unboxing. The, yes uh you will have the instructions here and these are really important for your creams because they actually have all the massage techniques here that you can use with these creams to give yourself a really really nice spa experience uh, the massages that you can use uh here to take off your makeup with uh with this cream or even just cleanse your face with this cream will really uh improve um the look of, of your skin because um they they kind of do kind of a lymphatic massage on your face mm -hmm. so it takes away puffiness it helps with circulation it helps with collagen production it really is great to to do your uh, a self massage so in these instructions here uh, and we'll have videos going up on the site uh, very shortly. Uh, it will show you here kind of how to massage uh, every area of the face as you are taking off your makeup. Um, and it will really uh, feel great, actually, if you do this all the time. And your skin will look a lot better as well. So these instructions are in, in, your, in your box, uh, so you can follow them along. Uh, now the the jar itself here is um, it's it's a replica of a 1930s Art Deco jar. So I yeah. took I took one of my favorite Art Deco jars and I kind of remanufactured it. So it's it's glass, it's frosted glass, um, and uh, it's got these little feet on it so that it doesn't slide on the <laughs> surface, uh, and it's got an aluminum uh, cap on the top there so mm -hmm. if you you know you can recycle these 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 parts separately like the lid and the the base as as a uh, glass and lid or you can keep yeah. them and put something else in them you know uh and yes they're you know, totally they're such a good a size to reuse for all kinds of things yeah put bobby pins in there put powder put it's yeah. just like such a perfect size yeah, they are rather large and you get quite a bit of cream and it's 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 a rather heavy jar. So you'll get the, the jar in here. Uh, you will always uh, get a little spoon in here, too, because you want to make sure that you scoop the cream out with the spoon 
and not use your fingers to just keep the 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 bacteria from getting into your cream so you always want to use the scooper to just get it out and then put it on your hand and, and, and on your face so use the As uh, scooper put to it do that. on your hand gabriella do you mind showing about how much you should use like if you were sure. going to clean your whole face sure 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 um so let's open this up um you'll see that it has a a, a top on here uh, you want to keep this because it, it actually keeps the cream fresher longer it it stops air from coming in so you don't want to throw this away uh you want to keep it on there and put the lid back on when you put it and it'll keep it fresher for you uh, so here's the thing and you can see the cream in here um so let's um so this is the cleansing cream so first let me get myself uh dirty because if not <laughs> you don't know you know yeah, what's otherwise. going on here so i'm gonna just put some powders here and i'm gonna put some shadow on here and some <laughs> other color shadow I love the uh like little kid <laughs> getting into their mom's makeup look yeah. <laughs> you have yeah, going on and, there and some blushes and you know some, <laughs> some other you know whatever's on here you know so I'm, I'm just putting stuff all over me uh here just so that you can see uh you know what what goes on so pencils um you know uh, mascara mm -hmm. Uh, and then as Gabrielle yeah, is just, doing just that, we had anything. some quick questions about how this compares to Pond's cold cream. And Pond's is, yeah, yes. it's a similar, you know, effect of cold cream, but also Pond's, uh, I believe it's still made with mineral oil. They're also not cruelty free. Yes. Um, they're not a cruelty free company. they are things to get tested on animals, unfortunately, uh, whereas ours are all cruelty free. And um, ours also has a variety of of uh, other natural ingredients and oils that help nourish the skin. So they're both similar in that they'll get rid of makeup and, and they leave your skin, you know, not dried out, but ours gives a lot back into the skin and it's mineral oil free and cruelty free. Yes, and in and, and made in California, we manufacture everything uh, locally. Yeah. Um, yeah, all the ingredients are really, really um, top notch ingredients. You have shea butter, rosehip oil, a, a lot of now all, all of it is really all naturals in this uh so it's very very gentle um it does have the quality of of uh kind of taking off like sallowness from the skin so your skin will mm -hmm. look brighter after you use it because it does uh kind of take off all those dead skin cells and things from your face so it does mm -hmm. have a brightening effect after you use it just because it cleans uh so nicely and it leaves your skin uh, nice and bright, uh, mm -hmm. but but also it takes away everything and it feels very very nice. Uh, you won't have a tight feeling, but it also is not oily either. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's plenty of cream in here. Uh, uh, yes, uh, somebody asked about the master liner pencil. Yes, I am working on liners, uh, <laughs> and I will have them <laughs> to you as soon as possible. I've been working on this for the last few years, so uh at this point i am working ag again on color uh things for the line but uh but yes uh these these take a bit of time to figure out so that's why i've been working on these and of course all the disney projects uh so um so yes i am working on the pencils and they will be here next year uh, so but for now i have these uh to show you which i'm very excited about because uh it's it's been a long time coming uh so for this cream uh it is it is rather concentrated so you don't need a ton of cream so uh please be uh stingy with it do not use a ton of it uh because it's really you don't need to uh this jar should last you quite a quite a long time um uh, obviously depending on your makeup usage uh, if you have theatrical makeup on all the time uh you might you'll go through it a lot faster because you're you you know you're you're using a lot more to get rid of a lot more makeup but if, if you're um you know just using it to cleanse things like that it, it really should last you quite quite a long time you don't need to use that much of it unless you're removing a lot of heavier things from your face but if you're not wearing a lot of makeup then it doesn't take very much uh to get rid of uh, a 
of, of things. So um, basically, take the little spoon and you want about like that much. Yeah, oh, that is not, yeah, not, not a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see it on uh, your hand too when you yes. put it on to also get a sense of scale. Yes. Yeah, so so it's not a lot. You can see it's not a lot. And, I, and I'm going to put it on my hand there. You can see how much I put. Um, yeah, so it's yeah, not, just not too little, much. Uh, a little bit. Not too much, just a little dollop. Um, you'll see it's kind of thick. Uh, it's it's kind of thick and, and nice, light. Uh, so what you do with this, this is a cream that's meant to be massaged. It's meant to be worked with. So usually creams have a lot of waxes. You know, they're a mixture of waxes and and oils. So if you rub them a lot, they'll tend to pile. I don't know if you've heard the term piling, but it kind of uh, it kind of makes these little kind of like uh, little pieces of 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 the stuff that comes off your skin that mm -hmm. looks like it might be your skin coming off or uh -huh. peeling. But it's not really your skin. It's actually the cream. Um, it's okay. the cream that is uh, the fats in the cream are kind of piling together and forming like little round little pieces that roll mm -hmm. off your skin as you rub it. So if you keep yeah. rubbing it, you'll see that more and more of that comes off. Uh, so most creams are not meant to be rubbed like that. They're just meant to be applied and then left right. uh, to absorb. Uh, this cream, though, on the other hand, is meant to be rubbed because you want to thoroughly massage it uh, on and then do your massages on your face as you're working with it uh, and then, uh, you know, put some water on it and towel it off. Um, so I'm going to start okay. rubbing it on here. Yeah. So basically um, what this does is it you, you just kind of like work it like this and just mm -hmm. keep kind of rubbing it on right here and you'll see that yeah, it starts to dissolve all mm -hmm. of the stuff that's on my hand here so you just keep rubbing it until you get all of it off um but you see that the the, the cream doesn't pile it just continues to stay yeah um it soft and movable and soft, you see yeah, yeah. So, so it's meant to be worked on like this. So you, you know, you can um, massage it and just keep, keep. So if you were doing your uh, massage on your face, you would like do your, your, you know, pull, pull mm -hmm. up, you know, pull down, uh, you know, all of those techniques that are in the booklet. And that will show on a video very soon on the site. You can use all those techniques with this type of cream. And, and the techniques that we put on this brochure are techniques that have been used and taught uh, to uh, uh, stylists and um, estheticians, you know, and... all of the uh, estheticians that use creams uh, for many, many years because uh, I've seen the same techniques uh, used in, um, in the 30s as in the 60s. So I looked at professional uh, books and books uh, made for estheticians to take their exams. And these techniques were taught, uh, you know, in the 30s and the same techniques in the 60s and the same techniques yeah. are, are used now. So, so there are techniques yeah. that really have been proven to work and they've, uh, uh, they've been around for many, many years. So you can see kind of like how it becomes kind of uh, uh, lighter and all of the makeup kind of melted on it. Like at yeah. this point, you can see it's kind of see-through-ish. Um, mm -hmm. So now yeah, what completely. I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put, it, put some water in it. Um, so if I put water, you can see that it turns milky. And so yeah, and instead of how the it creams kind of turns that milky? kind of, yeah, that stay really like thick, it does like turns milky and kind of melts off just with that water that's it like no scrubbing turns, or anything <laughs> You're just... yeah it kind of turns yeah and this is cold water it's not even hot water but you can see that <laughs> it kind of turns milky uh, the waters turn kind of milky and um, yeah. it just kind of it just kind of like you could just 
just rinse it, it right off here. Yeah. Because it didn't take any of the friction uh, from the towel. You didn't even use the towel. <laughs> you didn't have no, to. No, I can't even use the towel. In. I just, I just uh, use my fingers, and you don't even need the the towel. Is really just to dry yourself, really. Yeah. But you don't need the towel as as a scrubber of any kind. See, so so just like this. See the the water is milky now. Uh, yeah. You can see. Um, and then and then there is no makeup on my hand, as you can see. And I had <laughs> mascara, pencil, shadow, whatever on it. And I, I don't have any, any, I didn't have any primer or anything on my hand. Uh, so, so now I'm going to uh, dry the hand here so that you can see. We had a couple and, questions uh, about that. Oh yeah, let's see them. you can see. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you you can see how you. mine is more moisturized here than it is here. See, my hand is really dry right here. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the difference in my hand. Uh, <laughs> this one's much softer, actually, uh, but it but it's not it's not oily. See, there's not there's mm -hmm. not really any residue of oil. It just feels nice and soft, but it doesn't have any oily residue. Um, uh, Christina so, uh, asked the, the, these what? towels. By the way, yeah, I know you're yeah. asking about these towels. We do have them. They'll be on the site very soon. We have towels. For you so these are really really nice um high-end hotel facial towels uh so i i use the same manufacturer as the high-end hotels and i and i got these really really nice plush towels for you with our emblem um uh, uh done here in in a stitch uh and mm -hmm. i thought that they they're really nice if you're gonna use them for your face so uh so we'll we will have them on the site for you but that's that's what it does so you can you can kind of see the difference there from my hands um uh and uh and and, so that's how you question. use the this cream yes yeah, about um after you after you use the cold cream to remove your makeup and anything do you need to use a cleanser mm -hmm. after that or is that the only cleanser you need yeah no you don't need a cleanser after this after this you would use whatever creams serums or anything else that you are using on your face so whatever your your routine is for skincare you would use it after this so this will just remove all of your makeup and remove any of the uh yeah. residue from the day and dirt and things like this but uh, and it does but then you want to like use your skincare skin cells on your skin mm -hmm. and yeah it does and, you know yes makes dull skin look brighter yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah, it, it does. It leaves your long. skin very, very smooth and soft. I don't know if you can tell, but you know, <laughs> it's a little but harder I, to I tell. But you, you can tell a little bit. We'll have to have yeah, a, it's a touch it's to touch option hands, but, through the camera. Yeah, it it is. It's hard to tell on the hands, but uh, but anyway, you saw the amount. So it's just a tiny yeah. little spoon size here. So you don't need really more than this, unless uh, you know. Um, you're taking off like Halloween makeup or you have a lot of makeup on, you might need mm -hmm. maybe two or three of these if you have a lot on uh, to get it all off. But if not, most of the time, this amount will be sufficient. Uh, so also, uh, any other questions about this one? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. A couple quick things of uh, you can use your rewards points for this because this is going to be, um, yes. this is, goes into our classic line. So this isn't a limited release yes. this is something that's sticking around and then also questions yes. about um are these creams and you can go into the vanishing cream a little bit too if you like but are these yep. good for sensitive yep. skin uh or if you have rosacea yes like they're excellent for that excellent for uh any kind of um, sensitivity they have uh they they cleanse without really stripping they have they're very high in vitamin e so it's really, really good for your skin. And if you're sensitive to any kind of fragrant ingredient at all, not, not even just fragrance, but fragrant ingredients like um, natural herbs that are fragrant, like mint or peppermint or cinnamon and other things like mm -hmm. this that are fragrant, um, this is perfect because it really has no nothing that will cause any kind of irritation. Uh, I have very sensitive skin myself. I've been using it. Uh, we've been testing it for over a year with every kind of skin 
uh, and and there isn't really any sensitivity at all with this. But of course, if you have any problems, please let us know. But uh, but I'm I'm very confident that uh, that it works really well if you have very very sensitive skin. Uh, it's very very soft. Uh, as you mm -hmm. saw, it washes right off. You don't need to rub it. Um, but I recommend the massage because it's soothing and it will help your skin and it will help you feel better. Uh, it improves mood and circulation. So you really should try the massage with the cream. Um, but if you don't, if you just want to use it as a cleanser, it works just as well as that too. And with these, uh, um, let's see. the lab also tests them very diligently for sensitivities yes. and things like oh, that. Yes. So that's how they get tested oh, in yes. the lab. Um, and then we yes. tested them on ourselves afterwards, <laughs> everybody that works here yes. and that kind of stuff. But oh, yes, more it, importantly, yes. they're yes. tested at the lab oh, yes. very thoroughly for any kinds of problems like that. Um, cool. Yes, yes, they are. And as you see, there's a, there's a badge coat. Uh, there is a batch code on the bottom of these, so all of these are kept track of, so we know exactly what what uh, batch this was, what's in it, when it was manufactured. So everything is really, um, we keep track of everything. The lab keeps track of everything. We have track of all of the ingredients, mm -hmm. when it was made, where, the whole thing. So, um, so these are very, very fresh. They just came out of the batch, um, and we only make enough. Yeah, to sell, yeah, and seriously, for a very short period of time, you have to really be careful when you buy creams, um, uh, especially creams that are uh, that you buy at discount places, um, because uh, some of these products that they sell are really, really old. They might be like, you know, 10 years old, but you, you don't know that unless you look up the codes on the bottom of, of these products. So you have to be really careful that you're, when you shop, that you're getting product that is actually fresh. Um, so we are very concerned that everything you get is fresh and that's why we always run batches all year long instead of just running one large one uh, and keeping it for a year or two. Um, so we usually run enough for a few months and then run again and that's why you see sometimes mm -hmm. there are um, gaps where maybe the product's out of stock until the next batch comes in and it's because we really want it to be fresh for you when you purchase it and we don't want to keep this in a warehouse somewhere and just have product um, for uh, people all year round that have just been sitting there for months. Uh, so uh, let me go back to uh, vanishing now, if you don't have any yeah. other questions on the cold, um, I will go um, back to uh, vanishing. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, so vanishing cream, yeah. Uh, so the cold cream was a, a water in oil uh, formula. And that's, remember, I, I mentioned that uh, that the water evaporates and, uh, and then that's why you can get the feeling of the cold. Um, well, vanishing is, is, uh, is one of the first primers and it was called vanishing because it was one of the first creams that uh, it seemed to disappear when you put it on the face uh, because it does, it, it kind of vanishes. It doesn't leave a trace because it's kind of matte. It has a matte finish, a more of a matte finish when you put it on. And it was uh, sold primarily as a base for your powder. So it helped people, uh, uh, adhere the powder to their face. So it, it improved the performance of powder because at that point, powder kind of, kind of slipped off the face. Uh, so when they use the vanish cream a bit more, so it kept the powder on the face. Um, so it's, it's kind of, and this, this is an oil in water. So it's the other way around. The other one was water and oil. This is oil and water. <laughs> uh, and uh, it, it it actually is a moisturizer uh, as well as as a primer. So it has again the meta metafoam seed oil, and it has vitamin A in it as well. Uh, metafoam seed oil is native to Northern California, and it's a, a flower, and it has it really penetrates the skin for deep deep hydration. So it's really really good for moisture. Uh, it locks in your hydration and your skin's moisture barrier, and uh, it uh, suppresses these uh, enzymes that take take away collagen from your skin. So it it keeps keeps your skin fresher 
and uh, it reduces inflammation too. And if you have acne prone mm -hmm. skin, uh, this also helps uh, with that as well. Um, and the vitamin A, it, it's great. Uh, it, it promotes uh, collagen. Uh, it helps uh, remove excess oil that can lead to breakouts. Um, uh, and uh, it also has uh, lily extract, which uh, helps uh, with uh, pure, purifying your skin and orange fruit flower extracts to uh, even out the skin tone and cone flower extract, uh, which is echinacea, uh, which uh, helps combat the breakouts because it helps control bacteria. So it's really great for uh, underneath your makeup. It makes a really nice um, base that is not greasy, that doesn't uh, actually um, have any shine to it. So it, it, it really does a great job. And the other way I like to use this is um, if you want to, uh, to make your own tinted moisturizer. Um, yeah. Because, uh, because what, it, what it does really well is it mixes with foundation really, really well. So if you have, um, if you have uh, your favorite foundation that is full coverage, um, that you keep um that you keep for special occasions or you only use once in a while right. because it's full coverage you can take a tiny bit of that foundation and then mix it with a tiny little spoonful of this uh, you can see that the cream is lighter than the other one and it's shinier mm -hmm. usually vanishing cream it was known for its sheen um so and that's what made it attractive it was one of the selling points actually at the time because most other creams were actually heavy kind of waxy so they didn't actually have this kind of sheen to it so vanishing cream was kind of revolutionary because it did have this kind of sheen and it made it look kind of more expensive and 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 fancier than than other creams <laughs> at the time uh so yeah and again ponds is the one that came up with this kind of cream as well in the um uh, it was uh, it, it it was kind of made as a uh, hazel hazel teen snow in the, the 1870s, but then um, but then Pons actually made it more widely available in 1904, and it was again sold to put underneath your your uh, makeup and as a kind of a primer uh, for for your makeup um, or a lighter cream too. Some people used it just because it was a lighter cream and it didn't leave kind of a, a, a um, shiny finish, so you could just use it during the day. So uh, I'm gonna put some, you don't need, again, a lot of this, you know, a little spoonful is, is fine. Uh, so a little spoonful of that, that, that's pretty much plenty for your face, really. You don't need a lot more than this. Kind of tiny, yeah. Uh, again, these, these are, yeah, these are uh, large jars, so you, you're getting three and a half ounces of it. Um, so let's, uh, if you rub it in, you'll see it's, it's very, very light. You see kind of how mm -hmm. light this is. So it's, it's kind of really, really kind of watery and light. And then it just kind of disappears. It, it gives a lot of moisture. You see, cause it feels really, really shiny at first because it's a lot mm -hmm. of moisture on the skin. So it makes the skin feel really, really nice if you have dryness, um, but then it, it dries to a matte finish. So see, it's already absorbed and it just looks matte. And it does absorb so quickly and it just gives that little bit of very, hydration, very which helps like plump the skin a little bit just for fine lines and things and evens out all those ingredients mm -hmm. and even out skin tone and help just fight the inflammation that can sometimes come from acne or just other sources of stress and <laughs> skin stress mm -hmm. in our lives. And it really does leave, mm -hmm. uh, it just leaves your skin feeling so smooth and nice. And I have very dry skin. I've been using vanishing cream a lot for just that extra moisture. And it just makes it so much easier to apply makeup for sure. Yeah, yeah so if you, uh, you can apply it and then put your makeup on top of this, or you, you can take, like I said, a little bit of this um, and mix it with your, um, with your foundation. So a little bit of your foundation and a little bit of this and make your own uh, tinted moisturizer. Uh, so you can you can just put a tiny bit of your foundation if you want light coverage or 
put a little more, mix it with a little bit of this, and then and then there you have your own um, your, your own uh, uh, tailored um, tinted moisturizer, depending on what coverage you want for that day. Uh, and it works really well uh, as that it mixes really well with foundation, so you won't get it separating out. So uh, with any kind of liquid foundations, it, it mixes very very well. So you can uh, you can kind of make your own uh, instead of buying one if you'd like. Uh, so there's a, a lot couple... of uses for this cream. Yes. Yeah, we had a couple little questions. Um, yes. Would it be best to keep these creams in the fridge, or can you keep them out? If you your... like, I mean, is you can keep them out. They 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 are fine if you keep them out. But if you want that kind of cool feeling when you apply it, you can keep them in the fridge and then they'll kind of give you that that kind of cool uh, feeling when you apply them and maybe like help with uh, puffiness in the morning as well, because if they're cooler, then they'll they'll kind of bring down the puffiness a bit. So it, it might be nice if you wanted that effect to keep them cooler um, because they, they definitely will feel, you know, like like kind of more like you're putting on a cold, cold pack on your face in the yeah. morning. So it's kind of nice to do that. But yeah, this cream is, it, 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 as I'm talking, it's absorbing more and more so that yeah. like it's <laughs> now I, I can't feel it anymore. So it's already mm -hmm. all ab absorbed in on my, my hand. Uh, but it's not know, shiny as you so can nice. see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not that mattifying kind where it like dries you out. It just naturally has a matte no. kind of just no, you know, it, it's naturally yeah. kind of has a matte finish to it, but it's not. No, it's not a mattifying any of that. No, again, all the ingredients are all natural ingredients on these creams. So there, there isn't anything, uh, you know, chemical, sophisticated in these creams mm -hmm. that that will cause you any kind of concerns or or would be dangerous or or would be you know irritating to your skin. Um, all of these are meant to be really soothing and comforting creams. They're they're not um, they're they're not meant to cause you any kind of breakouts or, or discomfort. Really, they all feel really good and and uh, and they do the the job really well. And Sarah asked, how would the vanishing cream uh, work with the cashmere powder? Would that work well under the cashmere uh, you powder? You can, you, yeah, you apply it. Yes, you apply it like I did on my hand. And I happen to have some powder here so I can show you. Uh, then you take your powder and you apply it over the top. Yeah. And it should, because it's like a that. primer and it because it dries down, it's not going to, you know, be too sticky for powder, but it does just give that little bit of no. an extra base. No, you can see here that it just the powder goes on really nice on top, but it doesn't clump or anything. You know, so and Lorna really, had a good yeah. question. Uh, she asked if you use a one uh, one this the vanishing cream or the cold cream. They don't have SPF, so they don't have sunscreen in them. No. Um, and and Laura no. asked if you use a no. moisturizer in your daily routine. Where would vanishing cream mm -hmm. come in? So would you put a moisturizer on first and then vanishing cream or what do you think is the best step? Yeah, if you need, yeah, if you if you need a moisturizer uh, because your skin is really, really dry, then um, you can put the moisturizer in first, let that absorb, and then use the vanishing cream underneath your makeup as an extra layer. Um, but you can try the vanishing cream and see if it gives you enough moisture that you don't need your moisturizer in the morning. But you know it's something that you have to try out and see if you if you still need it, then uh, definitely use your cream before and whatever all other skincare you use in the morning, use that before and use your vanishing cream as as a part of your makeup routine. I had a question from Miranda if these are good for oily skin. Because mm -hmm. we talked about how they're good for dry skin, but yes. do these work with oily skin? Yes, yes. Uh, and I have oily patches. You know, I have combination skin. So usually I get really oily on my T-zone uh, and, and that. So my nose and that. So it, they're, they're fine for oily skin. This is, I've been using them for a long time. Also, you know, remember, you don't, uh, the, these will not cause any breakouts no matter what you do with them. But any kind of other skincare, like, you know, a night cream or things like this, 
if you do have oilier areas, you don't need to put as much cream in those areas. I, I usually avoid some areas if I'm not that dry in them, and I put the cream where I'm kind of drier. Um, but these will not cause any breakout. So if you're oily, these are great for that. They, they, don't, uh, they don't stay oily. They're not oily to the touch, and they're, they don't really um, behave in a way that would cause you to break out or uh, because you have oily skin. They're really, really light, both of them. And the natural oils that are in the products are also, they're there to help balance the skin's natural oil. So instead of just adding a bunch of oil to your skin or yes. taking away all the oil, they help balance your natural oil mm -hmm. production. So it should help on you know both sides of the scale, dry versus oil. And Michaela had a yes. question of, yes. can you mix the vanishing cream yes. with sunscreen? You can, uh, you can. The, the problem with sunscreens is depending on what kind of sunscreen it is, you know, because uh, sunscreens usually uh, come in, uh, you know, the way that the sunscreen, you know, chemical comes, it comes yeah. in a really thick oil. So this kind of thick oil gets added to a cream base to make sunscreen. And depending on the SPF, you need more of this oil. So the more of this oil that's added, the oilier kind of that the sunscreen gets or the, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why you get sunscreens that feel oily. It's because not necessarily the, the base of the cream, but because of the ingredient in the sunscreen that comes in this kind of thick oil carrier. Um, so the problem is that oil, because you can mix it with that. Yes, you can, but I don't know if the uh, sunscreen is already oily, if you need to mix it with another cream at that point, it just really depends on the sunscreen, but you can, it will mix with it. Um, but I don't know if it will help it any to be less oily. Uh, but if you have sunscreen in another way that, um, that isn't already in a cream, then, you know, yeah, sure. Wonderful. Let us know if you guys have any more mm -hmm. questions, but that is our, you know, our exciting debut into these beautiful, beautiful creams. Yes. We'll be talking, uh, we'll be showing off the cold cream a little bit more on Tuesday as well in our Tuesday video, yes. if you'd like to check that out. And, you know, we'll be talking about these more and yes. more as we go along, of course. Um, Gabrielle, it's just so exciting. I love it. And I just love that cold cream demo so much. <laughs> you had so much oh, fun. Awesome. You got off so it's so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. This stuff. And it's, it's fun to work with it. It's really quite different than the cold creams that you're used to. If you use ponds yeah. and other types of cold creams, this is nothing like it. It doesn't feel like the same. It's not heavy. It's not oily. It really feels totally different on, on your skin. Uh, so uh, give it a try uh, if if you uh, if you want to to experience it, but it, it's really quite quite different from what you've seen. And vanishing cream really it hasn't been around for such a long time, and it's such a useful product. And um, and we thought that you know primers were new, but this is kind of the first primer. This this is what people used as a primer, uh, and and it works really 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 well. Uh, so I thought that I could improve it and actually reintroduce it to you because I think it's a cool formula and, and uh, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you have other questions, please let me know. Um, I'll be here next week. Uh, we'll have more videos online uh, showing the massage so that you can do it at home. Uh, so we'll have a lot more uh, instructions on there. Um, and, uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know and I'll be happy to answer. And uh, thanks so much for joining me and, uh, and getting to try out <laughs> our new products. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Gabriella. And thank you all for joining us. I hope you thank have you. a wonderful Thursday and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes.